Anji, kya hal hai? So hello everyone. Now we have uh, Dr. Keshav with us. He has scored rank All India 6 in NEET PG 2023. So first of all, I think a big round of applause for this fabulous achievement Dr. Keshav. Congratulations. Thank you sir. Thank you. So Dr. Keshav uh, at this moment, you know, you are a graduate from Maulana Azad Medical College and in your first attempt along with your internship, you have scored rank 6 which is a dream for, you know, the rest of the people, rest of the country so many. Lacks of aspirants dream about it. So first of all, how are you feeling right now? Uh, sir, I'm uh, quite overwhelmed right now. Uh, I cannot still still cannot believe that I could get a, such a rank. So what was what what was the first reaction when you saw your result? You saw rank six in front of your roll number. What was the first reaction? The first, if you can tell us. Uh, sir, I just uh, went off out of my room and. I screamed to my friends ki result aa gaya check kar lo great so i'm sure uh, parents must be feeling very proud right now uh, yes sir so kya tha parents ka pehla reaction kya how how did they react to it khush the bahut zyada phone pe hi baat hui unse mil to nahi paya and i i hope you see them soon in person and uh, with the, you know yes, along with friendship in the first attempt if you score ranks that's that's really commendable So, Kishan. First of all, I would like to ask the typically cliche question, which every you know person who is probably looking us and who is watching us and who is listening to us, everybody wants to ask, how did you prepare? And along with internship. Uh, so the thing that uh, stand out for me was uh, when uh, reading the standard books is very important. Uh, like when I was uh, when I started uh, revising during internship, I could remember. Uh, many things from the standard books so i could solve uh, many of the mcqs because of it only and along with that i just uh, read my notes and um, one thing which i uh, did was this uh, when i was uh, having my first reading only uh, at that time only i watched the dvt of last year and i uh, reduced my notes to 10 to 15 pages during my first reading i combined uh, dvt along with my and added some points from my notes and after that i revised that note uh, that that notes only i added some points from the pyq and that was my main source so technically you you started in a divergent fashion but then you know with the resources are dams you made them convergent you made them concise and you accumulated everything at one place and then you utilized it am i right yes sir yes sir okay so keshav my next question to you is that you know uh, like at what stage did you join dams and you know how did you come to know about it and what was your experience with us can you please share sir uh, i i've been in dams since uh, my second year in second year uh, i used to uh, attend daily classes in the evening from 5 to 9 at that time time we were doing path pharma and micro and okay. starting that early uh, really helped me a lot okay and then and in know, the third year uh, in the third year uh, i completed my final year subjects main notes uh, of them and the benefit that i could get was in the final year i could read the standard books then i could okay. get the time for the standard books to get more concepts um, and along with that i revised my notes okay so i think well begun is half done this is a very old statement and i think you have proved it right today again that you started off early and that kind of helped you in your preparation so like uh, when you were attending the classes like i mean you were coming in the evening 5 to 9 as you said after your uh, you know the lecture and all so at that point of time i'm sure there must be you know certain moments certain days when you must be having certain monotony ki are yaar abhi college ka lecture lagaya abhi dance ka lecture lagane ja rahe hain to aaj rehne dete hain ya next time notes le lenge something like that must have you know strike your mind that you know because we tend to we humans tend to procrastinate you know this is something very often that happens to us so did it happen with you as well i mean you see you have scored rank 6 so many people won't believe that you have ever delayed things but i mean did it happen with you and if it happened how did you deal with it uh, yes yes sir uh, i didn't miss the dams class but yes we go, uh, we used to get off on saturday sunday so i yes. didn't miss the classes i used to attend all the classes 
So what are the other resources at DAMS that you used and you think they have helped you? Like one you mentioned DBT. So, okay, how was how the importance of DBT in your preparation? Can you elaborate a bit on that, please? Sir, uh, DBT gives all the important points that uh, we should remember just before going to the exam. So uh, it really helps in the last few weeks to how to go about because we have so much uh, syllabus, to, so much to cover. So DVT gives that concise uh, things at one place, which you can do just before the exam. And uh, one very uh, important that was in the last week, I only watched PYQ Kabab and it really helped a lot. Many of the questions were dry, direct from it or the, the concept was discussed and it was asked in the exam. That's so nice. it was really helpful. The PYQ Kabab was really helpful. That's so heartening to know, you know, in fact, when, uh, you know, the this course DVT and the DVT booklet, which is now, you know, uh, kind of a, a book, a must have book for uh, almost every aspirant. And when PYQ Kebab were being conceptualized, when two, these, these two courses were being conceptualized, even at that point of time, you know, faculties, when we were planning it, we could feel that, yes, it can be a game changer in the last minute preparation and the revision. So, Dr. Keshav, uh, at this moment, of course, it is very, you know, difficult to say about a few things, but uh, I mean, of course, you have scored such a great rank, but there must have been certain uh, moments in your preparation in the internship along with, you know, you, you have managed this rank along with your internship. So there must have been certain moments when you must have felt, Ki nahi yaar, nahi ho raha. maybe I'm not able to give my 100%, maybe I'm stuck in duties or stuck in studies. So uh, in those, I would say the low moments that we all have, how? How did you, did it happen with you and how did you cope up with that? Hello. Uh, sir, uh, there, were, uh, there were many moments in the internship, like when there was keep up nahi karna aur bas ho gaya, time nahi mil rahe, posting mein itna sab chal rahe. Uh, but I used to make a schedule for every day and I kept in my mind ki ye to aaj katam karke hi sona hai. So one thing was this keep, uh, discipline schedule should be there discipline. and you should uh, always see a final goal or you should have some motivation that's it uh, my motivation used to be key i will not be able to sit alone for uh, another one year and prepare for it again this mm -hmm. is what i used to think when i used to prepare so one thing was this and also uh, while i was uh, doing my medicine internship so uh, the PGs there really motivated me. Like they almost texted me every day ki aaj padh liya kya, aaj padh liya kya. they used to text me like this. So that kept my motivation up. Definitely when you know the ecosystem around you is friendly and when people you know they are with you in your journey. So I'm sure you know uh, that helps you in achieving what you want so how do you feel like how do you want to uh, i mean how do you recommend dams and what are the things that you want to tell to everybody who's watching you right now like uh, like there's a i we have already started with our pre-foundation batches of delhi like all mamc uc vmmc and every college of delhi we have already started with pre-foundation and foundation so if somebody who has just started lectures say uh, last week or last month so how do you think they should they should plan their study ahead and how they should utilize you know the sources and the resources uh, like if in they are the are in the second year then they should attend classes but they should not ignore the books they should definitely read robins at least it is a very good book and it should be read and in if they are in the third year the third year subjects are takes a very less time so uh, i think that major of the time of the third year should be given to the final year subjects that you should at least complete the notes and give one read of the of the notes in the uh, third year so that in the final year you can teach the standard books because reading standard books is very important for concept building okay one so, thing which i think i did wrong was i used to add a lot from the books into my notes uh, so it was difficult uh, in the internship at the start that's why i uh, uh, kept dvt as my basic notes and then added to it because my note, Diane's notes were full of the lines from the con, uh, standard books. So that you should not do, but you should take concepts. You should have a good thinking uh, ability. The, that is what you should get from the books. 
well you know this is what i call in my terminology you know pivot so whenever you are targeting for something and you start your effort and then suddenly at one moment you realize that your your intention is good uh, but in your strategy there might be a flaw or there might be a reason that strategy can be a reason for you not achieving your end goal so you just pivot and you take an alternative route which i think you did it very right that once you started feeling that you know things were getting cluttered in your notes then you took one dvt as a source and you added it to it so i must say that is a very great strategy that and i'm i'm very happy that you realized it in time and you took a pivot and it worked for you so what is the branch that uh, you are aiming for and uh, you i mean i'm sure uh, whatever branch you will take you will be an awesome and amazing uh, you know doctor but what is that one branch that you think that you'll be it's, uh, that it's uh, md uh, medicine from the start so uh, first love final love last love yes sir and and uh, have you thought of after md also like md medicine also uske bare mein bhi have you thought about it abhi sir of now In, not yet sir no so you want to enjoy the three full years of you know, your life with your love and yes sir i'm sure you will be amazing at it as you have been in your mbbs duration as well so thank you so much i wish you all the best and before we leave any last tip message for people who are you know uh, preparing for ini cet or who are aiming for the next year exam any any anything that comes straight from your heart as the first thought Uh, so for me uh, discipline is the most important thing and you should have some motivation or some goal uh, which you can look up to whenever you are at your lows yes discipline and think of the larger picture why i think mission why this whole journey was started has been you know amazingly briefed by you so apart from this i mean there is one more thing that i want to ask today that you know uh, along with internship there are many people who give this kind of an excuse that you know uh, that both tough hai it is very hectic there are a lot of duties which are happening so of course you have done it so any message for those people who are still trying to manage it with internship how how uh, do they stay time how do they manage time time management is a big issue so uh, if if you make schedule for a day you can easily get at least 1 to 2 hours per day uh, for studying like if you are thinking ki uh, internship bahut hectic hai but tum agar schedule banaoge to at least ek hour roz ka nikal sakta hai okay and in between the duties whenever you are free you can do question bank and you can uh, you should uh, but one thing uh, which is very important is you should be good observer during the internship because many of the things you will love uh, you will learn uh, during the internship only many things which are asked especially in the ini set exam you will get to know in the internship only so at the time of duty don't think much about the studies but yes if you get at least uh, like if you get 30 to 60 minutes then you can do uh, a question bank you can do some modules and like i used to wake up at 5 o'clock so uh, i had 2 hours fixed daily uh, in the morning so they they were fixed ki 2 hours subah to padhne hai baki it depends on the duty Okay, so I must say that the discipline that you have been telling everyone, you have actually one hell of a discipline, and that is why we have scored this rank six. Thank you, Doctor Keshav. It is uh, you know actually a great honor to you know listen to your journey, and I'm sure all the people listening and watching us uh, will definitely learn from it. Thank you, thank you, and I wish thank you all. Thank, thank you so much, sir.